Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, guys, last week I showed you guys a video where I did a full shopping spree at Ulta where Ulta paid for $450 worth of products and I only had to spend $20 of my own money. And in today's video, I'm finally gonna sit down and try out all the products that I bought. So if you guys wanna see what my thoughts are on these products, how I created this look, well then definitely keep on watching. Okay guys, so before we dive right on in, I just wanna say a huge thank you once again to my mom for providing such an amazing video and for Jennifer for gifting that wonderful gift card to Ulta. Doing that shopping spree at Ulta was so much fun and I definitely tried to get a lot of goodies that I normally wouldn't buy for myself. If I ever do this again, I definitely wanna to try to do like a full face of like drugstore, like buy only drugstore products. Could you imagine how much stuff I could've gotten on drugstore makeup? Like, oh, I could've gotten so much. But uh, yeah, guys, in today's video, I just want to sit back, relax. I want to try out all the products that I got to see what works, what doesn't work. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight on in. Okay, so normally when I do these styles of videos, for some reason, they always tend to be such an epic fail. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Whenever I do a full face of first impressions, they always turn out like shit. So we're gonna hope for the best. I'm just gonna quickly put on some like lip oil. I'm just gonna grab the Undone Beauty because it's literally sitting right here on my desk. Throw this on so you guys are not staring at some dry, crusty ass lips. <laughs> so, um, okay, so the first thing we're gonna go into is this Buxom palette right here, but we're also gonna kind of mix it with this Morphe 2. So this Morphe 2, it does come with like an eyeshadow topper. Then it does come with a cheek blush. Then we have like a lip product followed by pressed glitter. So I want to see what this is. A, this is like a lip product. Let's see. Ooh. All right. So first things first, I'm going to lay down my Pete Louise base right here. I love using this as an eye base. You guys know that. Um, so we're just going to lay this down tappy 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 then we're going to blend it out with my e6 brush from bling brushes we're just going to tap this and i'm just going to do one eye because i really don't know what type of look i am going for i kind of want to use morphe's press glitter but i i don't know i don't know uh, i kind of want to use it though or to actually swatch it first that probably would make sense right oh Oh, well, you know, I'm not flicking you off. I'm sorry. These are some big ass chunks of glitter. Oh no. <laughs> oh my God. There's a shade in here called 1989. The year I was born. Okay, well, we'll try to do like a neutral eye look. All right, so the first shade we're gonna go into is the shade called Rich Rich. That's actually really cute. And we're going to start in our outer corner. We're actually gonna work our way in. I hope this turns out nice. And we're just going to slowly start to tap that in. I am using the bling brush. This is the E15. This is from the Starry Night Collection. And as always, you guys can use code Alley to save you guys 10% uh, off your purchase. So we're gonna start to just tap this in and really start to just blend it into the crease right here. I don't really know what I'm doing. I never really know what I'm doing. I hope everybody had a really wonderful weekend. Um, I really enjoyed the video that I posted yesterday. I posted a video where I just kind of sat down and I played with slime and I just talked to you guys and I really just enjoyed that because it was just a moment for me where I didn't have to sit here and do makeup and I could just sit back, relax and just chit chat away. And I actually saw some comments or people telling me that they really enjoyed it because it was like being able to be part it was, they really enjoyed it because then I was like making extra content just for them as well and not just for the content that I do for Patreon. Um, the content that I post for Patreon is actually, has nothing to do with makeup. The content I post for Patreon literally is vlogs. I post weekly to bi-weekly vlogs of like what I do in my daily life and they get to see all the behind the scenes stuff and then I go live for them all the time. But that's like the type of content they see. I don't do like any more, I don't do like any exclusive makeup content. I used to, but um, it just, I just wanted to do something just a little different, you know? It's like the universe knows that I'm doing full face of first impressions. So it's like, bitch, let's pretend 
that you have never played with makeup in your life and do this amazing eye look. Like, what is this? This is going down. That's going down. I didn't, I was trying to go like, oof, not oof. I'm trying to straighten it down. This shit keep going like, oof, like, no, go do, what the fuck? Every time. <laughs> okay, well, we're just gonna make it work. We're gonna go into the shade Teddy. Right here, we're gonna use this shade to lay that down right next to it. And we're gonna make this work. I don't even know this is gonna be a shade that's... We're just gonna, we're just gonna fix that portion. Oh yeah. was very very unattractive sneeze <laughs> okay so while this is actually drying down um i'm swatching these um shimmers in here and the shimmers are really dry like they're not very very soft and blendable like i really wanted them to be um like when i stick my hand into scorpio like scorpio looks really pretty right i'm gonna take it Like I'm really pressing into the skin to like get it to lay down. Oh, buxom, I don't know. I don't know if you have a good formula. Oh, okay. Let's try this again. All right, so round two, we're gonna go into 1989 instead so I can use the Morphe one as well. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy my Ulta shopping haul. It was so much fun. A lot of you guys said that um, you guys are having a hard time getting your points to be like $400 worth of points. Believe me, once my points are worth like 50 bucks, I spend them. I can never get them to build up the way my mom does. My mom just has like self-control, something I don't think I've ever learned. And she's able to just like hold on to her points. And I really, really admire her for that. So I actually saw someone say they had up to like 25,000, um, 25,000 points, which I can't even begin to imagine like what that equates to like point wise. But that is so freaking cool. And I would really love it. Me and Corey talked about it. I really would love it if like one day I had enough points to be able to take like someone on a huge shopping spree like how freaking cool would that be to do to somebody like oh my god if i could take one of you guys on a shopping spree i would just be so freaking happy okay this is gonna be a very very boring look we're gonna go into the morphe palette we're gonna go into this first little shimmer right here we're gonna put that right next to this orange look Ooh, see that's pretty all right, let me quickly do the other eye. Okay, so for primer, I'm gonna go with my typical primer. So I'm gonna start off with my Tatcha Silk Canvas and I'm just going to put it right here. And then I'm going to literally like push it into the pores. Now this doesn't do the great job of holding back the oil. I don't really use primer that holds back the oil at this moment. Like my favorite has always been the Becca Evermatte Poreless Perfecting Primer. I also have the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer, but for some reason, I have just been obsessed with this combo lately. Like even though I get oily, I don't know, like it just makes my base look so smooth, makes my skin so soft. I've just been really, really enjoying this combination. Like I just really have been. Okay, then I'm gonna take the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I love this primer so damn much. I'm just gonna put it all over the face okay so for foundation obviously you guys saw my video that i got the two estee lauder foundations i also picked up the born this way 24 hour matte foundation and the juvia's place i am magic foundation both are supposed to be holy grails for oily skin you guys also told me to get the nars soft matte radiant foundation whatever one i do want to get that one but nars isn't sold at ulta at least my ulta didn't have it so whenever i do see that foundation at sephora i would definitely pick it up but i really don't know which one to use so i think i'm just going to use both because like why not um i'm not going to do like a wear test for these today because it's not a it's not a review on the actual foundation i'm just really excited to finally give these foundations a go i've i've heard about them for so long never actually got a chance to try them out so here we have the two foundations i will do the um born this way on this side and the juvia's place on this side i don't know if it's going to be exact match if it's not well this will be so much fun to see but I, like i said i have always wanted to try oh no oh no 
No, this might be too dark. Oh, shh. <laughs> okay, so, um, oh my. Every time. Oh, no. Okay, well, you know what, guys? We are just going to have to just make this work. I mean, what other choice do I have? It doesn't really have a smell. Smell to it. Ooh. Oh, I cannot believe that I got the wrong shade. It's so hard to tell when you're looking at the testers because you can't really, like, try things out to see which one is going to be best for you. I was able to go online, but, like, every company has a different, like, definition, I swear to God, like... Oh man. Okay. Well, you know what? This can easily be fixed with a brightening concealer. So I will definitely be using that. And I typically love to mix and match my foundation. So even though this might be a little bit too deep, if I end up mixing it with one of like one of my favorite foundations, then we can definitely like make this work. But this is definitely unfortunate that this is such a wrong shade. Oh man really need to bring this down this is going to be freaking comical guys if i put on the juvia's place and the juvia's place is so like pale i'm gonna be like what the <gasps> okay I'm gonna make this work okay now on this side we're gonna do the juvia's place i hear this one's really really thick so a little goes a long way oh wow this is freaking thick holy sh <laughs> oh no of course i would do this to myself wow this is freaking thick what the heck this is really 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 thick foundation oh my gosh i still still have so much left on my hand that's like insane that this is so thick wow okay like a little does go a long way I think if I were to mix these two foundations, they'd probably be like a really, really pretty combination. But I mean, you can clearly see the two different color tones on my skin. Um, this is definitely more warmer and deeper, and this is very light, almost a yellow undertone. I do not have a yellow undertone. I am a neutral undertone. And this is definitely radiating. This is definitely giving me off like a yellow undertone. But you know what? I'm not gonna leave my house today. That's what we're not going to leave my house today. <laughs> that is what we're not going to do. Um, if I were to say which one I like more based upon first impressions, I would actually say I'm liking the Too Faced more. I think because it makes my skin look more like a skin-like finish. It makes my skin look more breathable. This looks very thick. It looks very full and a little does go a long way, but oh my God, I wasn't expecting it to be that like full coverage. And I don't know how well it's going to sit on the skin. I don't know which one's going to control the oil no more. All I know is that like, I'm not going to do a full review on these today. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start wearing them in my videos and giving you guys updates throughout the time that I'm filming how I like these ones. Cause I've been using my, um, my Catrice true skin foundation. That's been my go-to foundation as of lately, ever since I did the review, that's all I've been wearing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start wearing these ones. I'll let you guys know which ones I'm wearing and I'll give you guys my thoughts as time progresses to let you guys know which one I prefer more, which one I like, which one I don't like. But, um, that's not what the video is not. It's not a full wear test today. Cause I just really just wanted to play with these items, but you can clearly see the two different skin <laughs> <laughs> tones on my face okay so i need to put some um, concealer on i'm gonna wear my fenty beauty i am so in love with this concealer like it is my absolute favorite you are gonna see a striking difference on this side because this is a brightening concealer so i literally don't do much like look at that i just put it right here and right here that's mostly like all i do and I, I know a lot of people like to put it elsewhere but i i just this is how i do it so i'm just going to blend that down this has been my favorite concealer ever since i picked it up this is the only one that i've been using i am literally obsessed with it all right before i put on bronzer i am going to go ahead and set my under eye i've been using my jacqueline cosmetics this is the face it fix it whatever face palette it's called and i've been using this to set the under eye so i'm only just going to take it 
and just put it right here, right where I laid down that concealer just to set that base. Okay, so for bronzer, we're gonna go into the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer right here. I really do enjoy my Jaclyn bronzer. I think it's such a pretty bronzer. And you guys are asking me what shade I got that bronzer in. I got it in the shade Beachy. Love this. So we're gonna go into the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer right here. This is in the shade Tan Lines. Um, uh, I'm a little scared. Okay, so we're just gonna take it on my sponge. You guys told me I can use a brush for this too, but I've always seen people use their sponges for it. So we're just gonna use a sponge and I am not seeing it on this side at all. Am I blind? Hello? Hello, let's dig on in here. I am not seeing it. Okay, so either I got <laughs> either I got the perfect bronzer shade or this just isn't doing shit. Cause I don't see it. Do you guys see it? Do you see it? I don't see it. I'm like digging in here now. Like, come on. Okay, let's try the forehead. Does it make a difference on the forehead? Yo, I think because my foundation is too dark. I can't see it, but I can start to see it right there. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, there we go. We can kind of see it there. Well, I feel like this is a really pretty um, bronzer. I really do, but I just feel like it's just not giving me much pigment. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell. Well, it is what it is. Okay, so next we picked up the Derma Blend. This is a setting powder. I actually did use this when I went to the UCF game the other day. I actually used this and um, I thought it did a pretty good job at containing the oil. So we're going to go ahead and take it. Um, I need a little, I'm gonna put on this little floofity floof and we're gonna take it and we're just going to, okay, set the face. What's that? What's happening right there? Oh my God, you can see the streak. Oh my God, you can see where, oh my gosh. You can freaking see where I put the bronzer. <gasps> Let me try with the brush. Now I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. So, um, good news is that this side took the powder beautifully. Um, I don't really see where I put that bronzer at. Like I feel like it's just not really visible in the slightest, but it didn't take away any of the foundation. This side, you can see that streakiness where my foundation is gone. And I remember watching Paige's video not too long ago where she did like a get get ready with me. She did some sort of video and I saw her trying out the um, uh, Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I saw that she was having problems too where like her foundation was coming off and was lifting. And that's exactly what's happening right here. It's like, it's just not there. It's just gone. And I don't know what happened. That is beautiful. Like this side is perfect. But the only thing is I don't really see the, I don't really see the bronzer, but this side you can clearly see where it's missing. What the heck, Jacqueline? Jacqueline, don't you lie to me, Jacqueline. Okay, okay, this is great. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with blush. We're gonna use this blush from this little Morphe 2. Take it on my F4 from Bling Brushes. And we're just going to try to cover that hole. The blush is actually really pretty blush. I'll give it that. So let me go ahead and just finish off the eyes really fast. I don't have a highlight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly finish my eyes and brows off a of camera. I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows with the Ofer Cosmetics Brow Gel product. You guys know I really enjoy this. I'm gonna quickly just finish off the, the eyes. I'm just gonna throw on some liner and some mascara. And then we're gonna come back and do the lips together because I do have the Kylie kit right here to try out with you guys. And then I'll give you guys my like thoughts on the first impressions of these makeup products. So. Oh, I, f I feel so bad that you guys have to watch this video. Like I do, like I feel like, I know you guys are like, oh, I'll watch anything you post. I'm like, yeah, but every time I do a full face of first impressions, something happens. 
Nothing has ever worked for me fully to full face of first impressions. I just want one video where everything is so smooth. I'm like, hot damn, these products are fire. And every time I'm like, shit, I do know how to put on makeup, I promise. So <laughs> I'll be back. All right, to finish off the eyes, we're gonna go into Jaclyn's like loose little highlighter. This is in the shade Bomb. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna put that under the brown bone and the inner corner. So just like right here and then put that right in the inner corner. All right, then for a highlight, we're gonna go into the iced shade. We're just going to tap that right here, then rub in. Okay, so now for lips, we're gonna go into the Kylie Lip Kit right here. This is in the shade um, Snow Way Babe. And my favorite has always been uh, the Savage Look at Lip. Like I literally, like, <laughs> if you guys can tell, if you guys can tell, this thing is empty. I mean, like, literally, there's nothing left in this component. But I love it so much that I'm just, like, hoarding, like, holding on to it, like, in hopes that I can scrape just a little bit left on my lips because I love that lip color so much. So I know that she just reformulated. So her, she has a brand new kind of brand where it's, like, new products. It's supposed to be, like, I think, what, vegan now and, um supposed to be a great formula so we'll see um i've never tried this shade before but this is the new packaging and we're gonna go ahead and line the lips i mean i will say that her lip liner is actually really creamy it kind of reminds me of like jacqueline's lip liner now going in with her liquid lip Alrighty guys, let me go ahead and let this dry down. We're gonna set the face and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, and this is the final look. <laughs> oh, I just, uh, not my favorite. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just dive straight on in. So first things first, we do have the Buxom X Ash Colum palette. And the only shade that I use is this 1989 shade. I actually think it's a really pretty orange. It did blend out really, really nicely. I didn't have anything to say badly about it. Um, I will say that the shimmers are just dry. Like I'm used to shimmers being very, I don't want to say moist, but just very creamy and buttery and could just slide on the eye very easily. These are very dry. I really had to dig in here and really had to press hard on my hand just to get a swatch out of it. Definitely not a fan of these shimmers, but the mattes are beautiful. They did lay you down beautifully. I just definitely struggle with these two shades just a bit because I think I put too much too quick, but I will say the 1989 is really beautiful and um, yeah, I'm going to definitely see if I can play with this palette just a little bit more, but it really is a bummer that I could not get into the shimmers. So that definitely is a bummer. Um, as for like the little Morphe quad, I actually generally think this is really cute. I like the fact that it has like a shimmer right here. You do have a beautiful cheek. I do love the blush. I thought it's a really beautiful blush. I didn't really play around with the lips. I think I will in just a minute. But then the pressed glitter is just pure shit. <laughs> like I hate the pressed glitter. Big, 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 big chunks. But I really wanted to play with this. And I definitely have no regrets. And I can see why Paige picked up all of the range. Because I don't blame her. You get like kind of like a sort of complete face with this. You could do so much with these little quads. And they're very inexpensive. So definitely have no regrets picking this up in the slightest. As for the foundations. Um... I was actually really shocked at the Juvia's Place. I was not expecting this to be as thick as it was. It is super thick. However, I'm noticing that the products that I put on top of it really sat beautifully and blended beautifully. I have no issues with this whatsoever. I thought it was going to look really, really like cakey and really thick and it doesn't like I don't even feel it on my skin whatsoever. So I definitely want to keep playing with this and really give this a try to see how well it combats the oil. And then the Born This Way foundation. You know, I picked up the wrong shade, but blending it with something else, I can really make the shade work for me. My, my only issue is that putting on a cream product on top of this just did not work. Like legit, it blended away the foundation. And the only reason why I was able to be saved was because I did put that powder blush on top. So I was able to kind of save it. But I was really surprised at how this did not work with that product. And I've seen people rave about this Born This Way foundation, not the not the matte one, but just the Born The Way foundation for years. People always raved about it. So I had a lot of high hopes. I'm kind of disappointed that it did not work in the way that I wanted it to, but we're definitely gonna keep playing with this. I'm not ready to rule this out yet, but try this out with other foundations. I'll try this with all my powder products. Instead of doing cream products, I'll definitely try that out. 
But um, I'll definitely, like I said, let you guys know my thoughts on these later on when I really, really wear them more than just one time and for an all day wear. So that will, well, that one will wait to see what happens. Um, as for the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer, um, it really did lay down beautifully. I didn't have anything wrong with it. it I thought it was going to be too deep of a color, but it tended to, to not be deep at all. I don't even necessarily see it on the skin. So I'm going to have to try this out, but I will say the consistency of it is really creamy, very buttery, just like my Jaclyn Beachy one. It blended out beautifully. It just sucks that I had a hard time seeing it on the skin because of the foundation color of choice that I, because of my foundation. But I definitely want to keep giving this a go, keep playing with it to see how I like it. But this is only eight bucks and I would definitely say this was worth it. It just sucks that it's so small. I just wish it was bigger because I'm having a harder time getting my sponge in here. So I just wish it was bigger. As for the Derma Blend foundation, it does lighten your foundation. If you guys do want to try this out it says it's translucent but i don't really think it's really that translucent because it goes on white essentially goes on white and then you have to blend it out so i wouldn't know i wouldn't say it's fully translucent i, def I definitely think it did lighten up this foundation just a little bit because it did oxidize down but um i wore this the other day when i went to the ucf game and i didn't really get that that oily but i only wore it for like five to six hours so i don't have any problems with this right now i'm gonna have to definitely keep trying it i think it does the best job at like minimizing pores but if it can hold the oil that's what i care about so i'm gonna definitely keep playing with this to see how well it does but so far i have nothing bad to say about this i guess last thing to talk about is the kylie lip product so i will say that this liner went on so creamy it's so buttery and i do enjoy that the color is actually pretty color, but this product right here, let me show you, ready? Do you see that? It sticks. Now I will say I could tell the formula is different because it, now it doesn't feel like I'm sucking in like on a Sahara desert butthole. My lips are not so dry and crusty like I've never seen water in my life. Legit, my lips do feel hydrated. They do, like I don't feel it on my lips. The only thing that's irritating me is my lips are so sticky. Like, Sticky. So I don't really know what that's about. I'm usually used to like a matte liquid lip um, either being super drying or very, very hydrating where it feels like chapstick. And this is kind of like somewhere in between where it's not drying. It's a little hydrating, but it's super sticky and I don't enjoy that factor in the slightest. Um, I am going to go ahead and put this like little lip product on top to see how well I like it. This is a really pretty shade. Let's see how it changes it. And it's not making it that sticky. The only problem with this component is that this feels like one of those like makeup products that you get. Like, you know, like when you go and buy like a whole kit from Walmart, like those like little makeup beginner stuff, this feels like that product that is in like those little makeup bundles, like the ones that you should give to kids, like to play with makeup, play with this. That's what this consistency feels like. And I don't really necessarily like it, but it is helping with, uh, but it is helping with the Kylie formula. Kylie's formula, um, I don't think will ever be my favorite. I typically always put like on a lip oil or lip gloss. <sighs> I still, it still feels sticky. I don't like that. I, I know it's crazy, but I'm just very, very, very particular. I'm very, very particular when it comes to products on my lips. I am so anal when it comes to lip products. I do not want to have a sticky gloss in the slightest. I cannot stand sticky glosses, especially because I think because I worked for as a server for so long and my hair moved and my gloss got stuck, like my hair got stuck in my gloss and it slid and it slid the gloss across the face. It's, it was just always a big hassle. And I just, I can't stand like I cannot stand sticky gloss in the slightest. So adding that lip oil really does help. I think I definitely would, if I def, I think I definitely will keep wearing this, but definitely just putting like a lip oil or a lip gloss on top. So yeah, guys, that is everything that I got in my Ulta haul. This is my full face of first impressions. I didn't get to try out the other foundations, but I can only wear so many foundations in one video, but I definitely would keep you guys updated on some of the products. And, you know, I have no regret. At the end of the day, Ulta paid for all of these. Well, essentially my mom paid for it, but then her points got turned into like Ulta rewards. So Ulta paid for it. And, uh, yeah, like I said, this was this video, like I said, that video was so much fun to do. It was so fun to do an Ulta shopping haul with my mom. And it was so fun to sit down and do a full face of first impressions. And it just never fails in every single full face of first impressions. Something always goes wrong. So one day, one day I will be like, yay, it's a success. But uh, yeah, I just want to sit back and try out all these products. So if you guys have tried any of these products, please let me know in the comments below what product do you like, what product you didn't like. And 
yeah guys so that is it for today's video guys hopefully you guys like this video if you do please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because i do post three to four mostly five times a week make sure you guys head over to my other channels are for the life you guys get to see my cool wonderful ventures my amazing husband Corey. a huge huge thank you to all these beautiful page members that you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for clicking on this video whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way just thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video bye so i want to see i just want to so jacqueline cosm hey guys what's up and welcome <laughs> you know it's like it's like my body knows you know it's like my my make it's like you know i don't think it does the best job at concealing i don't think it does the best job at control yeah i just wanted to sit back and try out all these products so let me know what you the so let me know about these products <laughs>